Hi, folks. Um, my name's Rain, and I'm here in Ivy in this beautiful forest. And we're here to talk about plantain today. And I chose plantain because I believe that medicine and food should be access to all. And this is a plant that most of us can walk out of our front door and find just right there. So it's a plant that's abundant, really considered a weed. It's come from Europe and the Indians used to call it white men's footsteps because it followed the white people here. So here she is, beautiful plantain here. This is called the broadleaf plantain. There's also its sister, which is called narrow leaf plantain. And the leaf, very similar in its look. It's got these very long fibers along the back of the leaf. The broad leaf is more round, like an egg. And the narrow leaf is long and skinny. And it grows in like a basal rosette, just like this. And then when it's ready to go to seed, it'll send up a big long seed with little seeds along the stem, which are edible, as well as the whole plant. The whole plant's edible. So the leaves, you can use like spinach, like you would do with any other plant. You can eat it raw or you can eat it cooked. Anybody that does smoothies, you could put it and grind it up and put it in a smoothie. It's got tons of chlorophyll, tons of minerals tons of vitamins. On that note though, be careful because if it is next to your neighbor's yard and they have chem lawn pulling up, you might not want to eat the plantain right there. So be careful about where you choose to pick. Also watch out for dogs. A way that I've learned to use plantain that I love is making plantain chips. And I made some today to show you all. It's my new favorite way of eating this plant. And I just took the plantain leaves, went out in the rain this morning, picked some, washed them off, put some garlic powder and salt on them, olive oil, and just threw them in my oven. And they're nice and crispy, just like nori. But I'm gonna to touch on what it's basically known for is its strong properties. So people use this plant for stings, bites, splinters. You just take the leaf, chew it up, and take all that juicy plant material and stick it right on the sting, nature's band-aid. And these same properties that you would use topically are good internally. So get out there, get to know your plantain. It's accessible to you. I know you can walk out your door and find it right there.